My name is Alex and I explore America with my FG Cruiser and my cat. Last week, I talked about what it was like to be on a Wyoming farm for the very first time. This week, I'm going to share what it was like to explore Hot Springs County with Kevin and his mom. Here come the horses. They're like, what do you guys have? She said, where did you put that rope? Where'd you put the rope, Kevin? Okay. <laughs> On the farm, there are a lot of animals that are just there for fun or recreational purposes. These two miniature donkeys are absolutely adorable and belong to Kevin's mom. They have very distinct personalities from each other, and that may be because Jack is so much younger and more active than Josie. Kevin's mom also wanted to introduce me to this half llama, half alpaca that belongs to a neighbor up the street. I think you might be able to pet. I think you might be able to. Hi. Oh, do you want to be pet? You don't know if you want to get patted. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. I think he's just not used to being handled. Yeah. Yeah. She, usually said, they... she said she didn't think he would let you pet him. Does she get to pet him? I don't know if she does or not, but the the fact that she said that she probably doesn't pet him all. Can I you touch doing? him? Sure. They gotta sniff you what first. What a good boy. What a good boy. Yeah. What a good boy. You're a good boy, Goosey. Aren't you a good <laughs> Bruce boy? is not a pet. He's actually there to protect the sheep, and apparently he does a really good job at it. That ranch also had baby cows, or maybe these are called steer. Feel free to correct me. Vivian also really wanted to show me Jibo, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's a ghost town in Wyoming that hasn't been inhabited in just a very, very long time. As you can tell by how overgrown everything is and just the state of the buildings. Ghost towns really fascinate me because I always try to imagine what it's like to realize that you're the last person there. You have no neighbors. You probably have no one else in your household. It is just you. I think that takes an incredible amount of bravery to be the last man or woman standing in a ghost town. Visiting Jibo, Kevin and I decided to go to Hot Springs County State Park that same day. It's a beautiful, beautiful park. I love anything with beautiful water features. However, Kevin says that the park used to be in a yes. much, much better state than it is now. Apparently, the park management tried to divert the hot springs to different pools and different attractions. And over time, it just exhausted uh, the main area where the boardwalk is so that the water levels dropped. Ironically, despite having the enormous and powerful Big Horns River right next to it.
those who got to see buffalo inside the park and like a responsible visitor, I enjoyed that as far away as possible. Next week, I'll share how I decided to do some day use camping on the Bighorn River after emptying my tanks one weekend. So how exactly did that go? Well, I guess you'll have to find out next Friday. Bye.